I got my falsies on, I got my falsies on, falsy lotions, falsy lotions. Welcome back to another Magic or Misery Monday. I hope you have had a good Monday. Mondays can't always be the best day of the week, but I hope you have had a good Monday no matter where you are in the world watching this. So today I will be going through the Soph X palette. Obviously on my last video I mentioned that I was going to be reviewing it. I've had this since I believe it would be November last year. Like I've said in previous videos, I really want to try and get into a real magical misery thing where it's not first impressions and things like that so much, but it's I have the product for a long time, I'm actually using it to really get an idea of if it is any good. So today it will be the Soph X palette. Okay, so it comes in this really lovely packaging, okay, really, really lovely. I love the fact that it's got all the rose gold on it, I think that's really lovely. The colours I personally think are absolutely gorgeous. Really nice packaging on that. On the back, you've got all of the colours there as well, so what you're going to get inside. I really do like it when you have got packaging that shows the colours on the back. I can't stand it when you go in somewhere and you pick up the packaging and you can't open it because of obviously health and safety, so you have to sort of guess what it's going to be like. All the pictures are so small maybe stuck on a sticker, that sort of thing. You can't see what you're really getting. So I love the fact that on the back of here, it actually shows the pictures of all the colors that you'll be getting. That I love and I wish more palettes did that. So the packaging overall, just really a box, but it's actually very nice, very nicely presented. When you get inside, there is a plastic bag, which I threw away ages ago, where the actual palette comes in. Again, this represents the box almost, has got the Soph X. I feel that might be actually a kiss, like Soph X or like Soph, you know, like X is like kisses. So I'm already feeling that maybe, you know, it's Valentine's week. Maybe this would also be a good Valentine's Day present for your girlfriend, wife, partner, whatever. If they like makeup, this might be a really sweet Valentine's Day gift for them as well. So let's open it up. I have done swatches as well. So I will insert those either here or as we go. Maybe a bit of both. We'll see. Um, I'm also not wearing any eyeshadow today, so I thought what I would do is, I haven't done like um, a tutorial or anything in a very, very long time, so I thought it might be nice to do something a little bit different today, and I will actually be doing a Valentine's Day makeup eye look with this palette, just to show you what I think of it. So here we have all of the colours. Again, this is all through just natural light. You can see my window there is wide open. It's not the best day today. It's not super sunny like it was yesterday when I was doing the swatches but you can see very clearly what type of colours you get in here. a really nice section of colours. You've got from literally a white right through to a black. Uh, you'll see the swatches. The black isn't, it's not as black as it could be. I find it's um, like a little tiny bit on the patchy side, that kind of thing, but blacks can be very difficult to do anyway overall. The, um, the rest of the colours though I think are absolutely stunning. I haven't had any problems with any of the colours. I've had no fallout with these. Uh, Makeup Revolution is 100% cruelty free because it's part of the Makeup Revolution brand. This was £10. Uh, check with, I mean, Tan Beauty I don't think usually has sales, but Tan Beauty will be on there. Superdrug is where I got it from. Um, they may have it in an offer at some point, but I've only ever seen it to be £10. You get this great big mirror in the top as well. Really lovely mirror that I will be using. I find it so easy to use. But yeah, overall, it's, it's really, really good. Um, there is one colour here that I was never really sure of, which is this one here. That one is called Petrol. Now that is an absolutely gorgeous colour, but it doesn't come out on your skin how it looks in the pan. Um, so 
in the pan, it kind of looks to me like like a muddy kind of blue. I don't know if you're seeing that. So like a muddy sort of blue. But when I swatch it, it comes out completely different. It's the strangest colour. I, I don't, I'm not saying that I dislike it. I just find it is such a strange colour that it's like a reddy, browny, blue. It's definitely got a petrol sort of thing to it because petrol are all, is all kinds of colours. And then it's like a browny blue. It's the strangest colour. But yeah, that's the only one that I haven't really gotten into because it's, I can't really balance it out with any of the other colours. It's really, really strange. So what I'm going to do now is I'm definitely going to tell you it's a magical product through and through. Definitely 100% a magical product. And let's get into doing a Valentine's Day eye look with it. Okay, so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with pancakes. Now I put that actually in the crease. And then I tend to set the whole of my eye with it as well, but the majority of it I actually put in the crease. Just going in with a fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up, um, <clears throat> iced coffee I'm actually going to scoot you in a little bit if that's okay. Okay, with the same brush, I'm actually going to go into peaches now. And I'm actually going to tap that on the outer corner, just lightly. And then just start blending that around, just a little bit. pick up a slightly larger flatter brush and I think I will start with cloudberry yeah I'm gonna go with cloudberry the very orangey kind of color I'm just gonna put that over the top of what I've just done back in my blending brush again I'm just gonna blend it through I'm gonna go back in with that same same brush again and this time I'm gonna pick up I think I'm gonna go with strawberry sweets this time So I've left like the center bit just open at the moment. I'm gonna go into the center. I'm thinking maybe with festive flame. I think festive flame is gonna be good in there. So let's get some festive flame on a smaller brush. Not 
too bad at the moment. This isn't a look I've actually done before, so I'm thinking I am going to just amp up the crease a little bit. So I think in the crease, I'm going to go in with tiramisu. take a deluxe crease brush and buff that out a little bit more. There we go, let's deepen that up a little bit more. So I'm thinking now I'm going to take some Fix Plus and maybe go in to Copper Corn as well to maybe bring it out a little bit and I might play with Danger. That sounds really funny. I might pose danger as well in a second too, but I'm just going to go back over with Best of Flame, then I'm going to fix plus in some copper coin as well. Right, so with a small shading brush, I'm now going to go into Danger and just trying to darken up the outer corner a little bit. So Danger's actually darkened out the outer corner really nicely. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go into the inner corner again and just brighten up the inner corner and I'm going to do a drop shadow as well and then bring up the um, highlighter on my brow bow. So yeah, we're pretty much almost done. So with a small shading brush, I'm going to go onto the inner corner now. I'm going to pick a uh, fairy light and then I'm going to put pink champagne on top of that as well. So to highlight my brow bone, I'm actually going to go in with pink champagne. I know usually people go with things like maybe penguin or fairy lights, but I'm just feeling to go in with pink champagne because I have very pink and purple hair, plus it's a Valentine's Day look, so it's lots of pinks and reds, so I'm just feeling going in with something a little bit unusual, which will be this colour right here. I'm gonna go with my deluxe crease brush again. I'm just gonna blend that all together because I do like to do that. I know most people tend to do it all separately, but I like to try and have it so it blends together a little bit. Right, now, for a drop shadow, I wanna do the purple so bad. Like, look at that purple. I wanna do that so bad, but I just don't think it's gonna look right. So, I don't know, will it? Can I get away with that? No, probably not. I think I'm going to have to go with this one here. I think that's enough to go with this one here this time. But oh, I want to use that purple so bad. I want to use that petrol colour as well. Maybe in another video. There will be more tutorials of um, the makeup I have coming very soon. So today I will be going with probably these two here as my drop shadow. So let's go with Cloudberry first. And 
and then I'm gonna go on strawberry sweets. I will scoot you in a little bit closer in a minute, so don't worry if you can't see, because I can't tell if you can see on the monitor, like, so it's such a small screen, I'm like, can you see on the screen? I don't know. So, this is pretty much it. This is what I've come up with for, like, a Valentine's Day kind of look. It is very, very bright if you're okay with bright colours. If not, turn it right down. Like I said, you've got a lot of colours for us in here, so you've got all the neutrals and everything. I am just going to quickly do my eyelashes. I'm tempted to give eyeliner ago but I think at this point it's just gonna go horribly, horribly wrong so I might skip that step but yeah I'm just gonna quickly do my lashes so I'll be right back and here we have it my finished look all I did off camera was um, put some red pencil eyeliner on I actually did take a go at using black eyeliner oh my goodness way longer than what they should be but we all know by now that i'm not an eyeliner person i just really am bad at it probably because i don't do it very often and for you all out there i even put on false eyelashes today oh my goodness i've had them for ages i've used them once and i figured you know what let's do the whole false eyelash thing and i've done that just for you because i thought well why not let's just give it a go and here I am with false eyelashes on for you and they are so weird if you don't wear them very much like me oh it's like the strangest feeling like unless that's the glue sticking bits of my eyelid together I'm not sure but <laughs> the weirdest feeling ever um today I also have got tea rose on my lips by elf which is this one here I'm gonna be getting more of these to see what they're like like I said I'm trying these bits out to see what I think um if you don't have a full face tutorial sometime please let me know this 100% definitely a magical product hope you have liked the look I have done today I'm actually quite chuffed with it especially with my false eyelashes chuffed a bit um so yeah please also subscribe to my channel there should be a video link here as well and if I reach 100 subscribers I will be doing a challenge so many challenges to do in so little time but yeah how we get to 100 subscribers I will be doing a challenge when I reach that and join me back next week when I review this little one here and show you another tutorial i'm going to try and get into that again as well so yeah see what i do next week with this and if i think it is worth 3.99 i think is what i pay for it i think it's a bit more online but yeah come back next week and you'll find out all about this one thank you bye but my eyeliner sucks <laughs>